Democratic leadership style is a style of leadership in which a leader encourages participation, collaboration, and teamwork from members of the group or team. This style of leadership values input and ideas from everyone in the team, with the leader acting as a facilitator of discussion and decision-making rather than by simply uh, giving orders or directives. In a democratic leadership style, the leader promotes open communication and encourages everyone's opinion, which leads to a more engaged and committed team. Ultimately, the leader will make decisions based on the consensus of the group, rather than making decisions unilaterally. Democratic leadership is often used in group decision-making, in work settings, and in democratic political systems. Democratic leadership offers numerous of benefits, including improved morale, increased creativity and innovation, better quality decisions, increased trust and respect, and stronger team relationships. By involving team members in the decision-making process, the leader encourages participation, collaboration, and teamwork which creates a positive and effective work environment. This approach results in improved productivity, employee satisfaction, and better outcomes for team or organization. It's worth noting that democratic leadership style is not without its drawbacks, and it may not be appropriate for every situation. However, with careful management, in the right circumstances, democratic leaderships can be a powerful tool for achieving success. Democratic leaders possess several key qualities that make them effective leaders. They show empathy towards their team members, creating a supportive and positive work environment. They are open-minded, valuing diverse, diverse perspectives and opinions. They encourage inclusivity making sure everyone feels heard and valued. Finally, they promote collaboration, emphasizing teamwork towards a common goal. These traits not only contribute to a more positive workplace culture, but also increase productivity and job satisfaction among team members. Mandela displayed a democratic leadership style during his long fight for equality. As a leader of the African National Congress, ANC, he believed that people of all colors and uh, political affiliation could contribute to the movement. After nearly three decades in prison, Mandela was released and the ANC won South Africa's first free election. When he became president, Mandela could have sought revenge on his former oppressors. Instead, in an exceptional act of forgiveness and reconciliation, he included them in his government. His decision greatly accelerated the national healing process in South Africa. Um, for the criticisms, uh, some criticisms of democratic leadership styles include slow decision making, potential for groupthink, overemphasis on consensus, and lack of accountability. The decision making process can be slowed down because democratic leaders seek input. input and consensus from team members. There is also risk of groupthink where group members prioritize harmony and conformity over independent thinking and creativity. This style can also focus too much on achieving consensus and can lead to a lack of direction or vision. Um, responsibility for decisions and outcomes can become diffused making it difficult to hold individuals accountable.